Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about pain. I want to talk about pain that exists as we understand humans are hardwired to finding pleasure and avoiding pain. Any decision that you ever make, whether it's in terms of your job, we're either looking for compensation that can allow us pleasure and of course avoid us from the pain of not having, the pain of suffering and vice versa. And then there's pain that we face in the human body, some people in the form of headaches, some people in the form of inflammation like joint pains, like back pains. For some people it's internal pain like stomach cramps and then for, for women it's usually uh, PMS, for some women it's PMS and before their cycles. Pain is expressed in different forms. Now when you go back decades and decades before painkillers even came into existence, people found natural ways to reduce pain. Now we need painkillers because there are many times that the comfort of the patient or the comfort of the person is necessary in the healing process. Also in order to bear and go through treatments, if we can reduce the pain, the person gets hope when discomfort is, when discomfort is reduced. There are painkillers. We have to understand that painkillers, although they have their place in medical treatment, the side effects of painkillers are immense, right from your liver to your heart to your kidneys to multiple organ failure. When we go on popping painkillers all the time like it's candy, we have problems. Today, most people take painkillers without prescriptions from doctors. We understand that, okay, this painkiller was given to me by my doctor when I had this pain. Now, the next time you get that pain, you choose not to speak to your doctor. Number one, that's the first mistake you make. Number two, you decide not to go to the root cause of what is causing pain in the first place because that tablet will take away your pain instantly. And the biggest problem we have today is instant gratification. It's something that children are going through, teenagers and adults. Instant gratification, we no longer know patients, we no longer know that it is okay to have a bad day, it's okay to have good days and all of that stuff. We want instant gratification. I click a button, there should be a result. I make a call, there should be a result. I do something, I say something, it has to respond to something happening immediately. And when that doesn't happen, we lose our patience, our anxiety levels go up, our stress levels go up, and we just create more havoc in the human body and in the human mind. It's called instant gratification. Sometimes when you have pain, we have to understand to some, I'm not trying to tell you to bear all the pain that you're going through, but sometimes if you have a headache, let the headache ride out itself if you can. Every time you take a medicine or you take a painkiller, you're compromising your own immune system. Anyway, let's go into natural things that work wonders when it comes to different kinds of pains in the human body. Now, when I talk about different things for pain, you need to understand that what I'm saying, you just don't jump into and start doing it. Okay, you need to look at the pain that you're having in your life, how you have you identified the root cause, how severe is it. It's always good to discuss with your doctors or health professionals what you do before you make decisions. So always use common sense and always use logic. What we share is just knowledge for you. You take what adapts to your life and your situation and you use it. So number one, turmeric for the longest time has, you, has been used as a natural painkiller. Why? It's one of the most inflammatory spices on this planet. So when you use turmeric, when you boil it with water, when you use the extract of turmeric in the form of curcumin, this can rapidly reduce inflammation in the human body, reducing arthritic pains, using, reducing back pain, reducing joint pain. Again, like a painkiller, you just don't go on taking turmeric. You still need to get to the root cause of why I have that joint pain. Do I have a sedentary lifestyle? Is my posture bad? Am I eating the wrong foods? And all of these things. So even when you're doing nature, you're doing natural things, it's still important for you to identify the root cause of what your issue is. And then we have ginger, which is highly anti-inflammatory. And here's an, a very interesting line of research that I wanted to read out to you. So in the journal, in the 2013 study of the Journal of Arthritis, it was written that ginger is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories and even more powerful than drugs like ibuprofen, basically. And when ginger is used in the right way, it can reduce your pain. So you see, the moment we get a little pain, we want to get rid of it immediately. We don't want to wait for a while, bear that pain, if it's bearable for a while, and see if it automatically goes down when you use things like turmeric and ginger. The beauty of turmeric and ginger, it can be made into a brew. You can make it into an herbal concoction easily. You just slice some ginger, mash it up a little bit, you take a little bit of turmeric and you boil it in water. Always add a little bit of black pepper, 
to the turmeric concoction because black pepper has something called piperine, which increases the bioavailability of turmeric in the human body. So you can mix turmeric and you can mix ginger and make a herbal concoction, which reduces inflammation even in the body of a healthy person. Mint is my all-time favorite because we use this for a lot of people who go through, you know, the pains after chemotherapy or radiation. And that matter for any kind of pain in the human body. When you take fresh mint leaves and you brew it in water, you boil it in water, this can act, this can act as a natural painkiller, which is why in a lot of over-the-counter pain creams that you get to rub on your, you know, body when you have muscular pains, it has mint in as well. Another thing is magnesium. We all know that a deficiency in magnesium creates innumerable problems in the body because magnesium is connected with more than 300 to 500 biochemical reactions in the human body. So you have a deficiency of magnesium, you're gonna have those pains in your cough, you're gonna have those pains in your thighs, you're gonna have those pains when you wake up in the morning, you have all these cramps all over your feet, you know, your coughs and your thighs. It doesn't mean you need a painkiller, it means you need magnesium. Now you can find magnesium in sunflower seeds, you can find a lot of magnesium in pumpkin seeds, and these are things we should be trying to put in our diet every single day, a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds with your breakfast in the morning, in the morning as an evening snack, or you can put it in your vegetable juice smoothie as well. You can also get magnesium through the use of Epsom salt. So you know, you can put, this is a fantastic remedy for people who have cough pain and knee, knee pain, you take about 100 grams of Epsom salt, you put it in a bucket of water, you have a bathtub, you put 200 grams of Epsom salt, and you soak, you soak your feet right up to knee level in Epsom salt, and that usually gives you relief from some amount of pain rather than just popping those painkillers. Something which is called Indian frankincense, which is called Boswellia, is very, very anti-inflammatory because of the compound called resin that it has within it. So you can have this in a capsule form, you can have this in the leaf form, but Boswellia is fantastic when it comes to pain. So you may wanna ask your naturopath or your Ayurvedic doctor to prescribe uh, Boswellia for you. It's also available in the nutraceutical market, but use it, again, with logic, with common sense, and always with your doctor's approval. And then you have the power of essential oils like sage, like lavender, like clove oil. These are oils that can reduce pain and it can be applied to your skin you know, externally. Clove is my favorite. You can take cloves and you can boil this in water. You also get clove oils for your tooth pain. So when you have a lot of tooth pain and you take a little bit of clove oil mixed with a little bit of a carrier oil like coconut on like a soft piece of tissue or a piece of cotton and you dab it on that tooth, you can reduce your pain. But when you brew cloves in hot water again, so you can, you can now see, you can take turmeric, you can take ginger, you can take a little bit of mint, you can add a little bit of clove. Clove has a compound called eugenol, and eugenol is again used in over-the-counter painkillers. It's already been being used by pharmaceuticals to reduce pain in their medicines. And we have it in a natural source and natural form in our kitchen, and we can use it in our foods, we can use it in our baking, or you can just simply brew it into a tea when you have pain. And then the old time favorite of heat and ice, whenever you have muscular pains or you have a fall, anything to do with your ligaments, your joints. So when there's a swelling, you apply ice. Once the swelling reduces, you apply heat. It's as simple as that. So you can, again, instead of popping that painkiller, understand that there's inflammation in your body because you've gotten hurt or you have a sprain. So you do an ice application. Once the swelling comes down, you do a heat application. For women who go through difficult PMS, what works really well is evening primrose oil. This is being used around the world to reduce the PMS pain. Another favorite which works wonderfully, we've spoken about this on videos before, you get something called raw cacao. It's not cocoa, I'm talking about raw cacao powder. You can get raw cacao powder or raw cacao nibs. You take a teaspoon, mix it with water, and you have this every single day. Every single day for about two to three months to see how your PMS pain reduces. When you have wrist pains, people who work a lot on laptops and uh, these sedentary jobs and they have carpal tunnel syndrome and all of these things, there's something called Arnica oil, where you apply this oil twice a day, once before you sleep and once midday on your wrists and you'll find that that pain reduces because again, it's highly anti-inflammatory. And then of course, coming back down to the basics of India, you have ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a plant. It is a whole plant which basically is used to reduce pain at a cellular level. Of course, this has to be prescribed to you because you need to know the kind of quantity, the, the right amount of quantity of ashwagandha and the form that you have to take it. Because again, even though we're talking nature, it suits some people and it doesn't suit some people. And you also wanna make sure that if you're taking a lot of medication that it's not conflicting with the medication that you take.
So these are simple things when you have pain. Even for your children, they have colic, they have stomach pains. First try to use these natural spices to reduce the pain rather than jumping straight out to medication, which just compromises the immune system, relieves the symptom, doesn't treat the root cause, and eventually we need more and more of it. It's addictive. Using painkillers are super addictive because it gives us instant gratification. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.